All right, guys, this is the last day I'm doing this. This X Max is accounted for from yesterday's purchasers. And we've got Dominic A from Plymouth, Wisconsin, who won it. This XRT is the final Traxxas going in an order from today's order. So if you place an order today by midnight, this 60 mile an hour giant Traxxas XRT is going to one of you. But let's call Dominic A, give him a ring. He's getting the last X Max, dude. Oh, no answer from Dominic, mm -hmm. dude. All right, whoever wins from today's orders, when we call for this XRT, you better answer your phone. So guys, hit up policemanfrog.com after the video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Policeman Frog YouTube channel. All right, dude, you ready? Dude, I got a little big, something for you. Big weekend, dude. Oh, yeah, big weekend. Felt 2K coming up. Yeah, so we got big race this weekend, one of our favorite of the whole year, FL2K at Bradenton Motorsports Park, if you don't know. Well, you know, dude, I had to spice some things up oh, for you. Oh, did you? Yeah, so, you know, McFlurry, need a little something. Should I be nervous? <laughs> or excited? <laughs> no, don't be nervous, brother. And I got these for you. Oh, You're going to need those. Dude. Get you one real quick. Get warmed up for this. Double stuffed. Mm. All right, so, you know... We got some work to do on McFlurry still, but I got a little something for you. All right. Get yourself ready, brother. Get dialed in for what you're about to witness. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Hey, man, you know, McFlurry was cool, but we all know Oreo is what makes the McFlurry what it is. So we got <laughs> the best. Everything's better with Oreo. Yeah, and you can keep that. Dude, these you can are keep that in the car, brother. <laughs> McFlurry was looking a little ugly, guys. It was driving me crazy. And I've always loved the NASCAR Oreo paint scheme that was out in the early 2000s. I haven't seen it recently. Yeah. Because no, Oreo decided to stop sponsoring NASCAR, but... Yeah, they got us know, now. Now they got us for free. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't even have to worry about their marketing. So, you know, it's still McFlurry. But you guys all know the McFlurry is powered by Oreos. That's what makes them. Yeah. So... Take that M&M one third in the track. Yeah, you know, Jack Stan's an actually. Oreo guy. So went with the Oreo NASCAR scheme on mcflurry thanks to project prime dude you're yeah. dialed in for fl2k it went from being just a fox body to a masterpiece it's yeah. one of a kind now. i'm guessing it's gonna pick up at least two tenths in the quarter mile at, at least now that it's got this oreo paint scheme i mean dude look at the resolution on this oreo look at the resemblance i mean goodness gracious project prime went down to the pixel dude i mean every pixel at a time brother as far as mcflurry goes back to the racing side of things we need to scale this car let's yeah, get the scales out scale it Set her up. Get a race ready. Yeah, because it was having issues at the drag strip the other night. So we'll slap it on the scales right now, see what it even weighs, and get it set up for jack stand. So we're dialed in to some testing before we go to FL2K. There's no more bullies in the streetcar class. So, you know, someone's going to win it. Yes, sir. I could see McFlurry winning the streetcar class. Absolutely. I could see it happening. It's a unit, dude. Any guesstimations before we get these numbers? I'm going to say it's right about. 2990, 2980. Yeah, I'm going 2950. Ty? Uh, You're a Mustang expert? 3050. 3050. Okay, all right, let's rock it on there. Oh, no. This thing is pretty all much right. a full stock Mustang. I can put it in gear real quick. Hold on. Oh, dude. 2905. Oh, man, that's loud. That's not bad. Oh, so. well, 2904 now that I pulled this off. All right, well, that's. Pretty solid. What are we working with weight ratio wise? 59, 60 on the wow. nose. Wow. 60 on the nose. That's that Godzilla motor. Have you done that? That's not car? good, dude. 60 on the nose is no bueno. That's actually okay. not bad. It means you hit it with all the power. Yeah, but. Hit it really hard. Every yeah. <laughs> but then aren't you more prone to spinning the tires? Well, you are... when you're no, on, a, on a not prep track, like on a marginal prep track, it's not oh like yeah because this is this is shorter wheelbase shorter if, wheelbase. if yeah, mullet was 60 wheelbase. on a nose it'd be a problem yeah you'd have a real big problem but we're good in this yes okay well that's cool james you should probably get in and we'll look at it fresh off a weight loss challenge dude that'll help Them double stuff's in there I'm <laughs> all, right all right get in there close your door bud all right 3089 and we're still yeah just under 60% on the nose. Mm -hmm. So should we mess with the anti roll bar and put a little bit of preload? Yeah, yeah. because if you look down here, you really want to have like 50 to 100 pounds more on the right rear. For a starting point. For a starting point. Okay, yeah. you want to twist it in there real yeah. quick and then we'll... 
Be dialed. So Ty is twisting the anti roll bar under here to preload that back right tire. Yep, you're going the right way. All right, stop. Now you have a 75 pound difference. All right, that's perfect. All right, we'll try that out. Yeah, we'll lock it down right there and see where we're at. But that, okay. that'll probably keep the car fairly straight. Yeah, well, worst case, if we keep spinning the tires, we know that it's probably our weight ratio and uh, we can always put some weight in the trunk at fl2k or something so all right brother what do we got here we got lots of uh big changes should we start with the doors yeah so let's go dude i, I already popped one open i'm gonna be honest yeah incredibly awesome. light it's incredibly light the difference so. all right so we got fixed windows now no more roll-ups no more creature comforts we got lexan with a window wow. lock damn look at that Woo! that's crazy it is Hold crazy on, let me just this. show the people. All right, this is two fingers, obviously. Like, it is so light, you cannot believe it. That is crazy. But now that it's like sand, you actually have to lock the windows in. So, lock it, and then click, and that's it, right? Ty? That's all you got to do. Yeah, that's it. And then you can unlock it from the outside. Oh, that's so light, dude. And then you can just lock it you know from the inside or outside so yeah, you forget that step all ties hard work <laughs> gone <laughs> yeah. door included <laughs> yeah. so guys we got this front end from a guy eric kenward racing and he also made these window mounts which are pretty cool and ty you ended up using them right yeah 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 so what it Looking was is it sweet. came with this as a kind of a generic bend yeah and then you kick it the last couple degrees you need and put yeah it to length and it and came with all, all this stuff on here yeah. already all the rigging hardware yeah. nice. Nice. and optic armor having tinted windows that's key because i yeah. i've never had lexan windows because i kind of don't like how clear and ugly they look but optic armor sells this tinted plexiglass ty did a freaking phenomenal job countersinking it making it clean that was a 2 a.m night right there <laughs> Dude, could have been a 12 a.m night if i had uh, countersunk a little less accurate Oh, well, it looks amazing, man. <laughs> I mean, this looks so good. All right, so the weight reduction is one thing, but Ty, show them how easy it is to remove the doors off a of mullet now. Out, up, boom. <laughs> that is unreal. And Not here. Is she light? Oh, yeah. Blows oh, away yeah. in the wind? You fill this thing with helium, it might float away. I was actually Basically thinking, dude, balloon. what if we filled the roll cage with helium? Let's <laughs> just start pumping everything <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> dude, we'll be dialed in. All right, so... The doors came out amazing. Good job, Ty, on that. And now I'm seeing some new mounts on Mullet because we got that front end we going on. We got a carbon front end about seven eighths complete. Yeah, I'm on so the pumped for it to be done. So over here, Ty's been working away on the carbon front end, dude. She's looking good. She's taking a beating the last couple days, just getting ready to be mounted up. So you can see in here, we've got some new metal mounted up in there and that'll all slide on the front of here, which the SMX has been put back in Mullet and it's ready to fire up. We are missing a few things. We're gonna have the radiator put on in the morning, which is right there, but we've got Pete on the way, so we have to have this thing done by tomorrow so we can put it on the dyno and get it tested for FL2K. Everything is plumbed up, ready to roll, and we have a new deal from Holly in here, the CDI box, which is right here, dude. That sucker puts out some serious ignition power for these big old coils. So now we have an ignition system that's fit for a 3000 horsepower car. To be honest, our ignition before was more for like a 1500 horsepower car. You're at the limit of it. And it was limping its way by. When you have a lot of boost and a lot of methanol, you are supposed to have a really powerful ignition system. We never did. So one of these coils has yeah. enough spark to run a small block Chevrolet. Yeah. You could feed a distributor <laughs> with one of these. That is crazy. So. A lot more power as far as ignition goes, and that's going to make a bigger difference than we probably think. I don't know. I've never gone up to a big system like this, but everyone's been telling me it's amazing, including Steve Morris. He told me that just this system alone can increase your horsepower a ton. So now the car is set up as it should be ignition-wise, and we are ready to fire it up. So yeah, I guess we, we should give it a shot. All the air, all the fuel. Now it's even primed up, ready to roll. Yeah, hit the key. I think I might have heard Zach test fire it, to be honest. So we'll yeah. just. Oh, it's got no exhaust. Oh, yeah. We don't need that, though, Ty. We're just firing. Uh, nah, we're good. Oh, before we fire it, can we show them the front window? Yeah. I was just thinking how easy that is to fire it up. Yeah, but we're going to need that where we're going. So the other thing we got from Optic Armor is the front windshield. Ty had to cut out the side windows from blanks, but the front windshield comes cut and ready to rip. 
that out. And you gotta love the fact that Optic Armor can actually put tint on it too. Yeah. I think it's only like 10% or something. They it's not offer, a ton, but. They offer two different shades of tint and then also yeah. And then two thicknesses too. Yeah, this is the thicker one. Yeah. Now, there you go. They said that with the thicker window, which is what we got, you don't necessarily have to run a bar, but because we're going 225, are we gonna do that? We can if you want. It's I totally think we probably you. should. Might be smart. <laughs> Just because I we have a bendy window now, and I don't want it to collapse yeah. at two thirty <laughs> yeah. and then come up against the yeah, shield of my helmet. You don't want it kissing you on the forehead. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's put this down. And we'll fire it up. We're no exhaust goofing. There we go. Got to build up some air back there. Look at that box, dude. That's all for the spark plugs. That's only for spark. <laughs> All right, here we go. I just tried to rip the window off, Ty, for the first time. Oh, Forgot about the latch. It held up though, so you're good, dude. Good installation, brother. So by tomorrow, guys, we should have the front end on. We got a couple things we got to wrap up and then we'll go on the dyno. And from there, I mean, we're ready to rip. Yeah, we'll go uh, finish up, dyno, make all of the power, then go really, really fast, and then yeah. we have FL2 care. All while we have Pete in town. So we got Pete Harrell in town to make this all happen, get the finest tunes we can possibly happen. Yeah hit the up arrow on the boost controller, win FL2K, but we have a lot of work in between there. Shout out to Optic Armor for the windows, Eric Kenward for uh, helping us get that front end and some window stuff and it's all coming together. Steve Morris for getting the engine ready, Eminem for getting the transmission ready, Zach for putting it together, Ty and James for working on it. We're getting this thing dialed. We'll be ready for FL2K in just a couple of days. You should come out this weekend and watch this race, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, do it for Dale Wolfric and I'll see you later.